Hello everyone, Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com coming to you from the Cannabis Holistic Institute talking with you about terpenes. Today the terpene that we're going to be speaking on is camphene. Camphene is an amazing little terpene found in cannabis. It's also found in the plant kingdom abroad. It's going to smell like fur. It's going to have you know, a, a Douglas fur those needles, that piney smell, you can kind of think about that. Um, a musky, kind of earthy smell. It's also gonna smell very damp, kind of woodlandy. Now, you don't want your nugs to, to, to be damp at all. They're not cured correctly, and, and that could lead to mold and mildew and like weird stuff. And here in the animal triangle, we definitely do not want uh, wet weed at all but the smell is going to be very much like that coming from this particular terpene okay now this particular terpene that smell can very smell very similar to myrcene so the best way to do that is to find your fingerprint the cannabis fingerprint to get your research to know which one of these particular terpenes is it going to be because you can smell a big old jar of really nice you know nugs or a big bag of um, freshly cured nugs, and it may smell like something, and you'd be like, oh, that's myrcene. But it's very possible it's camphene. Now, myrcene being like the number one terpene, yeah, of course, it's probably gonna be in all cannabis, well, not all cannabis, but it's gonna be across the board one that you're gonna find more often. But camphene has really, really, really great medicinal properties to it that myrcene may not share. So caffeine, um, if you're thinking about you know, using this as an antioxidant, if it's coupled with vitamin C, we have a surefire winner. Now, of course, vitamin C is a great antioxidant. It's amazing for your immune system. But when coupled with this particular terpene, I think it magnifies the power. Just like with vitamin C, a lot of other things do that as well, right? Let's talk about skin conditions, psoriasis, eczema, rashes, they have all been scientifically shown to be improved by camphene. Now, not just camphene and cannabis, but camphene, the terpene in general. Kidney issues such as kidney stones, kidney blotches, so on and so on, those kind of things have been researched and studied and camphene has been a great um, terpene to help eliminate those kind of things. Bacteria, yeast, overgrowth, those kind of things are really um, helpful for this particular terpene. And the last one we'll talk about is it's a natural painkiller, camphene is. So that sounds amazing. If you're gonna use this in a particular salve um, to help with you know, inflammation of skin um, and you wanna you know, kind of calm that down, plus you wanna put some vitamin C in there, wow, we just made an amazing topical face salve. <laughs> There you go. There's a freebie. Um, some strains that are really great in camping or high in camping are going to be Mendocino Purple or Mendocino Perps. Also a Ghost OG. Now, the Ghost OG across the board uh, has different ratings. Everyone loves it. Uh, but some people, because it's pretty high in THC, it's only around 20 and it's about a zero CBD. Now, all strains obviously are going to vary just a teeny tiny bit depending on which um, you know nursery you got it from and where you're breeding it from, blah, 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 right? All that kind of stuff. But in general, if you have a purebred strain of this, it's going to feel a little bit like what they would call um, homeostasis with the cannabis. So it's going to feel like an indica and it's going to feel like a sativa or what they call indica and sativa, right? How they, di how they kind of dial it into those. So this is going to feel very much like this. For someone who's not a heavy smoker or edible person or topical person like myself, OG, Ghost OG would be a little bit too much for me. For someone who is a pretty regular advocate of cannabis and using it um, on a pretty daily, that could, they may be not that heavy and it may be absolutely perfect for them. So I do like both of these strains. Um, this is a little bit strong, so I can't really comment on it for, for myself because I'm not, I don't use a lot of THC heavy cannabis. I use more of the 
CBD, uh, CBG, CBN heavy cannabis, and I do a lot of THCV and THCA kind of strains. So, you know, which is like the THCA being the raw version, like watch some of those cannabinoid videos if you're interested in that. So, um, but I've heard lots of people loving both of these strains. So thank you so very much for tuning in. Pepper Hernandez from drpepperhernandez.com. Become a cannabis certified consultant, um, cannabis therapy consultant over at the Cannabis Holistic Institute if you're at all interested and you wanna geek out. I hope this has enlightened you just a little bit. Enjoy your cannabis and we'll talk to you with the next terpene coming up soon. Have a beautiful day.